What is going on guys? Back with another video and in today's video we are going to be dynoing the Camaro. Yes, we're going to be dynoing the Camaro to get a baseline to see where it's at before I start modifying it, before I start, you know, putting some real power to this machine. Now, I know it's not going to make a lot. It's on a stock tune. It's only governed to, I think, about 118, so we're not even going to get a full fourth gear one-to-one -one ratio dyno pull because it's going to be limited to 118 miles an hour. So we're going to have to probably do it in maybe third gear, probably. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see how much power it makes before I start, you know, doing modifications. You know, long tube headers, cold air intake, um intake manifold spacers plenum uh, spacers all that type of stuff just to see how much it makes i'm going to be taking the car down to louisville texas to uh, prt performance i heard they're a really good company so we're going to see how much this car makes now i'm i'm thinking it's somewhere in the ballpark of 230 240 to the wheels now i'm not sure how accurate that's going to be since i'm doing this um Dino pull maybe in third gear depending on what the guy wants to do um but since i'm doing it probably most likely in third gear since that's on, on the highest gear that's not limited it's probably going to make around two maybe around 220 230 any anywhere in that range maybe a little bit more than that but it's not going to make the full true potential because it's that's not the one-to-one -one gear ratio so in reality, I want this. I want to see this car around 240, 250 ish at the start. But you know, I can't see that because the car is still limited by the stock tune, and I don't want to do anything to this car yet until I see where it's at first. So I'll sacrifice that that you know 10, 15, 20 maybe horsepower just to see exactly where it is before I touch anything else. And also today, the exhaust is getting done. Now that's not going to be in this video. That's not going to be in this video because. This video is just about the dyno, and I'm not sure how long that video is going to be. So, this video is just about the dyno. I'm going to hit you guys with a last stock cold start on this video and the next video. So, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same cold start. I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to be the same cold start because I'm doing everything one day. But, yeah, we have a full day plan for this vehicle. And we also have something that's coming under the hood for this car. I told you guys. Stuff was going to be coming soon for this car. Now, I'm, I'm still waiting for it to ship. It's supposed to be here uh, sometime this month. I ordered it uh, with June 19th, and it's on back order because of coronavirus, you know. But it, they said it should be here between four to six weeks, and that was around uh, the week I ordered it. Because I was wondering, I'm like, uh, my stuff hasn't shipped yet. Like, what's going on? You know, but I understand coronavirus. Not everybody's able to um, work at their full capacity. Not everybody's why. Oh, yeah, but this is my new camera. This is the new camera. This is the camera that you guys will be seeing vlogs from for now on. This camera is amazing. This camera cost me a lot of money, so hopefully I don't break it. Because this camera is very expensive. If you guys want to know what kind of camera it is, it's the Canon. Uh, totally forgot what it is. It's a Canon camera. And the exposure is going down. That's, I, that's why I keep waving my, waving my hand around. So it can keep on the exposure of my face. Because for some reason it wants to pick up on the, like the light exposure outside and not on me. So yeah. See if I do that like that, it'll go dark like that and it'll, it'll go back light. Boom, see? But um, description of the camera down in the uh, description below. Wow, that's hard to say. And also, guys, merch is available now. Merch is available. If you guys want the um, Legendary Burnout Shirt V1 and the Coronavirus Mask. Now, I'm pretty sure the ones that we are going to ship out are going to have the, uh, the uh, smoke circle or the wheel on it instead of the YouTube logo. But this is all version one of the merch created by Tulip Creative Designs. That's a really great company. You guys really need to check it out. Get your orders in. DM them on Instagram. Send them an email. I'll leave the email on the screen right here. I'll leave the Instagram on the screen as well. Everything's down in the description. Place your orders for this merch. This merch is amazing. I have I uh, maybe two or three more designs coming out. They're, they're going to be amazing. Or maybe even five designs coming out. I don't know. I don't know. Tulip Creative Designs is on something strong now. You guys want to get get your hands on it really, really fast before the prices start going up. So get get your get your merch right now 
before the prices start going up because this company is about to blow up this company is so great they're so amazing the quality and finish of everything is so high standard that it's better than most of the companies that have been doing this for years and they just started up recently so if you guys want your merch remember tulip creative designs instagram dm them email just send them an email let them know what which merch do you want and i'm telling you guys i'm telling you they're on to something this merch is amazing, man. I'm just letting you know that right now. Come come get your legendary burnout merch. I'm just telling you that right now. So, yeah. This was a very long intro, but let's get into the video. I'm going to hit you guys with the very last stock cold start of this car for the duration of the car. Because we're getting an exhaust soon today. But the, the exhaust video is not going to be in this video. So, yeah. Let's head on down to PRT Performance. But before, let's get you guys with a cold start. And let's get into it. Alright, what is up? We are back. I just made it to the dyno place. Still got about 30 minutes to my session, so just waiting, letting the car cool off and stuff like that. We got my beautiful girlfriend right here who's being annoying. But yeah, so we're gonna let just let the cool car cool down for like the next 30 minutes. Go in there, let them know we're here and stuff like that, and just be waiting because I got the GoPro set up right there in that rear window, so I can get the second second shot. You know, just get, just get the second shot, and this camera's gonna be the outside view of the car. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're out here about to get the car strapped on to the dyno. I'm not sure if this camera's picking up on how windy it is, but it's really windy right now. Uh, there's a lot of cool cars out here too. There's a lot of cool cars. A lot of cool cars. Got a super over there. Got my big head girlfriend in the way. Got my car right here. And we have a apocalyptic type car right there. So, really cool cars. Yeah, and they got a Mustang over there too. Interesting. But yeah, they have a lot of cool cars out here. A lot of rotary cars as well. So, interested in seeing uh, some of the projects as I come back to do another dyno session for the final results and stuff like that. To see like all the rest of the cars that are they're probably gonna be working on but yeah they have a rx7 right here this is literally my first time seeing an rx7 in person and there's one pop-up headlight on and the other one is just down which is funny like this freaking car is so dang cool like look at this bro i would totally do something like that with dude it, it looks like cartoonish on a freaking camera which is funny got the rx7 we got a lot of 350z's here like a lot of 350z's we got one two three four i think five six there's one they're working on one in the shop and yeah i think about six rx7's then we have a s14 right there next to the rx7 and we got another rx7 over there next to the supra oh and there's another 350z over there Interesting. They, they work on a lot of 350Zs around here. Interesting. All right, we got the car going on the dyno right now. They're strapping it. We're about to start strapping it down and everything like that. See all the cool cars up in there. That freaking 350Z doesn't have a differential. Oh, and they got an R32 back here, too. And I, this is a dyno jet. This is not a Mustang dyno. So the numbers will read higher than a Mustang dyno, obviously. I should bring the Mustang to get dyno. See how much it makes, honestly. <laughs> Got done to the, uh, car? Absolutely nothing right now. Just, just yeah, just getting a baseline before I start throwing mods at it. Because I'm after after this, I'm going to get an exhaust done, and then man, that R32 is beautiful. Hold on, Bucker, we're going to need to strap down a little bit more. This thing's about to make some serious power. <laughs>
subscribers was the first one that I got that. Right there, it's probably 800 horsepower. 800 horsepower, I'm calling it right here, right there. That dyno truck does not look too happy though, at all. That dyno truck, like that dip right there, that does not look too happy at all. We're making some serious power over here, baby girl. We're making some serious power. Ooh, okay. So technically they had to do four pulls because the fourth gear pull got limited to the 118 speed factor, or speed limiter, just like I said earlier. So I think they did it in third gear. More than likely to do it in third gear since it's closest to the one-to-one -one ratio. So yeah, I'm gonna check the GoPro footage and see like what gear it was uh, put in. And I'll show you guys the dyno numbers in a second when I see them. So, hold up. So the car did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. It made 242 horsepower and 230 um, torque. That's actually a really good starting point, being that that wasn't the one-to-one -one gear ratio. So it has maybe 10 more horsepower left in it. So I'm pretty happy so far. So now we're gonna start getting the mods ready for it. Getting the exhaust done today around, well, actually after we leave here, we're gonna get the exhaust done today. I'm not sure what exhaust I'm gonna get yet, but we're gonna get the exhaust done. All I'm gonna tell you is there will be quad tips on the Camaro. There will be quad tips. So remember it made 240 horsepower, 230 torque, which is a lot more than I thought it was gonna make, being that it wasn't in the right gear, run one gear ratio. So I'm pretty happy with that. Look at me like I just recorded the intro for the other video. Don't do not do that, don't do that, even though that video still hasn't come out yet. Don't do that. Trust me, this, this is gonna be a friendly reference when I post the next video. Just 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 wait to hold the laughter, hold the laughter. But no, the car did amazing. It did pretty good for what it is. A stock 3.6 liter V6 that makes 304 to the crank. The numbers for the dyno are higher than what's on the chart i already know that because the uh tuner he said the car still has the um stock governor on there so it won't let him do the full one-to-one -one gear ratio pull so he had to do a third gear pull instead because when this car gets to 118 miles an hour it just cuts power and keeps you know keeps it under the tire rating so the tires don't blow and stuff like that keeps you know keep keep tries to keep the person safe i'm obviously going to get you know i um, I think the wheels that are on here right now are R-rated wheels, which is, which are horrible. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so I'm going to begin some new tires soon that are uh, I, maybe H. I don't, I don't need to go that high because I'm not, I don't plan on going that fast with this car. I mean, unless I'm at the drag strip, but other than that, I don't plan on going that fast with this car. But for safety reasons, especially like the power I'm going to throw at this car, I'm, I'm going to get rid of the R-rated wheels because those only hold up to 106 miles an hour. Which is bad for a sports car. A sports car. A sports car. Even muscle car. Sports. Already wheels. Kaboot. I'm probably going to do maybe some ZL1 replica wheels. You know, some nice 20s that look really neat. Because the 20s look really great on the Camaro. 18s, they look they look okay. But the 20s, it just makes it look so much better. And it, you don't... It makes the car look like it's lowered when the car is just at its normal stock height. Which is kind of weird. But, um... The dyno chart said the car made... 242 horsepower at what is that i think it's let's see 242 horsepower at around 6500 rpms and he didn't even ring it out all the way up to the 7000 i mean if you look at the dyno chart it looked like it was still climbing when he stopped the dyno or stopped taking the, or stopped doing the pull so clearly the car still has a lot left in it i mean this dyno chart isn't the prettiest I mean, with all the bumps and everything like that, and the dips and stuff like that, it's not the prettiest, it's not the smoothest. I mean, it's pretty smooth for a stock car, but with all the bumps and everything, I, I think that is, that's, that's either the throttle body or the uh, wheel spinning, probably not wheel spinning because it's only 242 horsepower on that dyno, but it's, it's most likely the throttle body. Um, so yeah, it made 242 and 230 torque. Not bad. That's exactly the ballpark I was looking for. And I know it has more in it because that was only a third gear pull. Because 
Yeah, he couldn't do the real fourth gear one-to-one -one ratio pull. So I know this car has maybe five to ten horsepower more, maybe even more than that. Who knows? Because I think this car is supposed to make 250 to 255 to the wheels um, is what I've seen, is what I've read. So it's, it's supposed to make somewhere in that ballpark. So, Or maybe my car is a factory freak. Who knows? But yeah, th these are just the starting numbers. These numbers really don't mean anything to me right now. Uh, these are just the numbers I wanted to get so I know where I started at before I start modifying the car just so I can see how much the modifications I've done to it have affected the car. Did a lot better than I ex ex expected. Honestly, I was thinking the car would, would make around 220, 230 to the wheels, but it did a lot better than that. Um, I want to replace the throttle body because... It doesn't feel like it, a car makes that much horsepower. It really doesn't. It feels like it makes a lot less than that. But I think it's it, it's either something to do with the tune. It has something to do with the tune or the throttle body or whatever. Because if like you'll be going like say you shift down to a to a higher gear, you're at like four thousand RPMs and you just punch it. You don't get thrown back into the seat. You don't get that that feel of being on a roller coaster or anything like that. And I know it's only 242 horsepower, but it's more like a, a gradual uh, feeling than it is just like that that immediate punch in the gut. And I know, like you may be saying, it's only 242 horsepower. Like you shouldn't be expecting that. Well, the Mustang has literally 100 horsepower less, 100 horsepower less, and you still get that feeling, which is crazy. And I I, I think it contributes to the 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 throttle body on this car, uh, limited to limiting limiting it so it doesn't like break anything on the car and stuff like that so i mean i was like when i first got this car i thought something was wrong with it maybe because it's like a, a a mustang that has 100 horsepower less gives you more of that sinking feeling that that feeling of you're being on a roller coaster when you punch the throttle compared to a car that has 100 more horsepower than it so yeah throttle body is the next thing that may be on my list i'm not sure what order i'm doing this in but all I know is I'm just ordering stuff for this car and I, <laughs> I got a lot of stuff coming for it under the hood. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for watching. I got to re record the exhaust video now. So yeah, peace out.